So we're on the last hole here. This last hole is actually above the steam port. You can see it on this side. So we have, how much space is there? We got about 800 thousandths until we hit that. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go, let's see here. We're going to go like 7 sixteenths down. And then we're going to use a bottoming tap to get to the hole. So let's go. Okay. How does that look? So now we're going to use a bottoming tap because it's a pretty shallow hole. Okay. That actually completes this side so uh, I'm going to take it out and flip it over and do the other side off camera. <clears throat> now to go quicker you can do what's called power tapping which is exactly what it sounds like. You gotta be careful because that is an easy way to break a tap so I usually will just power tap most of the hole and then uh, get to the bottom by hand and then um, my machine can't run in reverse so I have to back it out by hand but it makes the process much easier and it's a lot <clears throat> more it's a lot safer if you don't have um, blind holes Next, um, we need to drill and tap the hole for the pipe thread uh, to go through. So, um, we're going to measure this. This is one inch, one hundred thousandths approximately. Uh, I don't know what happened on my SolidWorks drawing. I made this. 875 thousandths. Um, I must have messed up when I uh, made the actual wooden pattern for this casting because this is clearly over an inch this distance from top to bottom. Um, in fact it's it's along the lines of one inch 100 thousandths. So I really don't know what happened but uh, Nevertheless, <clears throat> we're going to take this value that we get here and we're going to divide it by 2. So, 1 inch 75 thousandths. That goes to 538 thousandths. That's our uh, halfway point. So, Let me uh, get a marker. Well, it's kind of hard to see because of the scale on the cast iron. It's really hard. Oh, 
All right, so we're gonna actually drill that through. We're gonna start with a smaller bit. through yeah we need lots of lube for this one no power tap here the thing about this tapping pipe threads is uh they get more difficult the deeper you go because um, of the taper. So actually, I think I'm, that's good enough to start. I think I'm going to do it by hand because it's just going to require too much force to do it in the chuck. I can't find my tap wrench that fits these guys, so I'm going to have to do this and. I'm going to be really careful here. One, to go slow. And two, to not put any excess side motion on it. This is a big tap, but you can still strip, you can still break it. I think that should be enough. So you can kind of see how this works. Steam goes in here, goes through this bend out here, and then uh, the valve gear will bolt to here, and it will control how the steam goes through this port or this port with the valve that moves up and down, and then those ports send steam into the cylinder. So, uh, I am going to lap the top and the bottom cylinder heads in the same way I lapped this. I'm not going to show you it's the exact same process, but I, I think I will do a before and after shot. So I'll see you in a second. So here's a before shot. You can see the machining marks, especially between this region and this region. So let's lap it. Just finished lapping it. You can see the surface finish is way better. Nice one consistent texture. It's nice and shiny. I went up to 400 grit again. So I just need to do the other side. So if we look at the unlapped side, this is what we're starting with. You can see the machining marks. All right, just finished lapping this one. You know, it's really unfair that you guys just get to go to the next scene and see it all done. I mean, all this lapping took like several hours. And I'm glad it's done. We have one up left, just the drone tap two holes here. On my drawing, I have the hole 1.25 inches down from the top machine surface. So we're Let's just get a hint of where it is. And about there, so we're just gonna mark that in. And then, being careful not to scratch my lapped surface. There. Yep, we're good. So then, uh, how wide is this? We want this to be in the middle. And then I'll check it with the drawing. So, this is, uh, should be two inches, but it's, it's two inch fifty thousandths. So, I'm gonna go one inch. 25 thousandths because we want it to be in the middle and that's just again because of the casting lines it's not it's not perfect so we're gonna just 
And then I'll go on the other side and yep, it lines up. So there's our spot for our hole. Let's just double check. One inch, two hundred fifty thousandths. And then I'm pretty confident with that one. So let's mark that hole. So as you can see, I didn't lap this surface because there's no need to. Um, the reason why is because uh, the reason why is because uh, this side here we're just gonna make two holes half inch by 13 blind holes and they're just gonna have studs in them and the uh, the actual engine mount the bracket that holds the engine to whatever you want will, will bolt to this so this this surface here doesn't mean it's not important at all. So we have our first hole there. Let's mat, let's uh, lay out the second one. So again, my drawing has the hole at one inch. Uh, let me let me look at it again. So at one inch, two hundred fifty thousand. So one and a quarter inches. Again, let's let's get a marker marker here. Let's see where approximately it's gonna be. Okay, right there. So this is, damn. This is the I'm so mad that this is this part is like the only part of this part, for lack of a better word, that is not like perfect. <laughs> but it's I'm I'm lucky that it turned out on the side that didn't matter. So we're just I'm just gonna scribe. I'm gonna scribe a little. Well, let me wait for this to dry. So actually, what I just did. <laughs> okay misread my drawing clearly that's not the right spot <laughs> uh, it's gonna actually be that was just the distance to the middle I actually have to go another one inch 250,000 so I'm just gonna set this to two inch 500,000 or two and a half inches and that's where I'm gonna go from my other one I could also just as well uh, go one inch 250,000 from this machine surface as well so let's mark that in. Let's see here, we're gonna go from this. I'm gonna scribe a line. So we're gonna go halfway now between these two. Okay, let's see if we can just go straight to the tap size, 27.64. So, we set my stop. We're gonna go a half inch down. Let's, uh, uh, come on. So let's tap that half inch by 13 for the bottoming tap. There's the bottom. Alrighty, second hole. Alright guys, that'll be it for this video series. 
this part is done. Uh, that's pretty exciting. It took a long time. Um, I think this is going to be one of the more complicated parts, hopefully. It's hard to tell right now. Um, but uh, the next part we're going to do is a much simpler part. It's going to be the uh, engine support that's going to actually bolt onto this side right here. Uh, and that's kind of why this little casting blemish here doesn't really matter. It's because it's going to be covered. So this is what it's going to look like. Um, it's just a little mount. And I've actually started making the pattern already. Here is the pattern so far. I still need to add the fillets in so we don't have the, these harsh corners right here. Uh, but, you know, the, the way it's going to go is... Let's uh, put this more in center frame. It's going to bolt on to here like that. And then uh, it's just going to provide a way to hold this up, you know, just like that. So that's all. That's what we're doing next. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video series, which will probably be this guy. And uh, we'll start with casting him. Thanks a lot. See you later.